Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. In this video, we will be sharing a few quick tips and tricks about how to send an email or how to send cold mails to the recruiters who are hiring. Now, many of the people, when they see the job posted on any of the platform, let it be LinkedIn or uh, if any it has been posted on any youtube community post also so what they will do is they'll hit uh, the like button and they'll put they'll put interested in the comment section of the uh, of that particular post right so posting interested will not get you a job at the same time posting interested will not give your details to the recruiter the recruitment team or the hiring manager they don't have that much time right so what we will do is we will showcase you what email you should write and how and how you should write what you should include what you should not include right so there is a term called cold email right a cold email can get you an interview call a cold email can get you a job from any of the company so let's understand about this cold email today okay Okay, so there is one of the uh, term that is cold email. Now, what is this cold email? So cold email is nothing but it's an email aimed at gaining a benefit in terms of sales opportunities or any other dual sided benefit from someone with whom the sender has no prior relationship or connection. Okay, so there is a XYZ person who has posted a job on the platform. You don't know him or her, but yes, you know that that particular XYZ person is a recruiter in some company. Okay. And you want to apply for the job in that particular company. So what will you do is you will approach them. You will send him an cold email. Okay. But generally what happens is people uh, write, hi, how are you? And they'll send the resume, right? Just as uh, imagine uh, you are playing that, uh, game of uh, balloons being filled with water and we throw balloons on each other right but th those are friends so we, sh we should not send the resumes like this we should always take some time take some take this as an opportunity to first introduce yourself so this is the format right how you should approach and what you should write right so hi xyz so let's say if the person who has posted the job, his name is RD Automation Learning. So you can write, hi, RD. Hope you are doing well, right? I saw that you are hiring for the position of QA, senior QA, performance tester, secure, whichever role is there. I am interested. And at the same time, I don't want to waste much of your time, right? So why, why we are writing this line? Because we want to make sure that we will be putting this response very cut short. We will not be taking much of their time. See, Time is very valuable these days. People who understand the value of time will reach to their career level, next level, right? So we have to respect our time. We also have to respect other, other person's time as well, right? So you just have to mention this line and then this four pointers will help you, okay? You have to share the CV, see? I'll be sharing the CV also. But before that, you have to take some introduction. Now, let's say uh, you are currently working in some company as a this, right? So if they are looking for someone and they have got a low kind of a budget, but you are already working in some company which has which might be paying you very high, then they might not be reading ahead. Now, let's take another example. If... Uh, you are working in some small company. They are looking for someone who has got experience in MNC companies. You have got experience exposure in startups. They are looking for some big giants. Then they will not move further. But we have to make sure that we put all these things in a very precise manner. Okay. I am an ex. So you can also reveal your past company. Maybe earlier you were working in some MNC company. Now you are working in startups. So these things do help out. Right and which is well equipped with leaders so this is again something that i have you know written but it depends of if what that company is in which you're working and how you present that particular company okay then i have an overall experience of a plus years this is very important into diverse functions 
with major focus on risk and compliance so you can write i have an overall experience of five plus years for example okay five plus years into with uh, three years of manual testing two years of automation and working on selenium java i'm confident with java programming language i'm confident with python programming language right then uh, I worked in A, B, and C sectors. So you can say uh, I had, I'm very well versed with uh, creating test cases, test case design. If that's a manual testing related job opportunity, if it's an automation, then you can also include about CI, CD, DevOps, if you are aware about the framework that you have worked, maybe keyword driven framework, data driven framework, right? And have diverse skills like. And you can also mention your recent certification that you have done. I have not mentioned here, but you can also include your recent certification that you have done or recently any certified course that you have done, right? Attaching my resume. Thanks for your time and consideration. Hoping to hear from you soon, right? So you have to end on a positive note. That is very important. Once you will be keeping this short, this is a very good opportunity. This there is a short, short guarantee that you will get this opportunity, right? You will get some response. Many a times we feel that the recruiters are not giving the response. The hiring managers did not respond it. No one has responded us in an email, right? There are times when such things do happen. But if from the job seeker perspective, if you will mention all these things, definitely you will get the response. I am not committing that you will get positive response but yes if there is a negative response that also that person will post because they know that this particular person is genuinely person who is looking out there for a job and he would like this professional thing see if you are professional if you are uh, respecting someone else time then definitely that person will respond to you right so this was a short uh, video on gold email right so thank you so much for watching this video and before that if you are watching this video for the very first time then please do hit like share and subscribe our channel we are taking free mock interviews we don't charge anything the only thing is that we ask is we need a good internet connection from the candidate who is giving the interview because all these videos would be recorded and those would be uploaded on our youtube channel Right. So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.